Welcome to my 10,000 watt induction heater test. Let's get right. All right, I've got pipe here for load. I have a probe going through the output transformer, so I'll see an isolated signal. I do not have an isolation transformer on here, so I can't just hook it up to that output directly. I have a current transformer, so I know what I'm seeing through the inverter output. What I've got here is 240 volts, 50 amps plug. This goes to a contactor. It goes to relays for precharging resistors. That way, when it switches on, the capacitors are charged, no big surge. Hopefully, when I plug this in, it will not explode. And then, when I start up the control circuit, I'll see the voltage rise here. And when that thing clacks on, hopefully it will not explode again. Then I'll have full voltage, and I'll be able to start the circuit, adjust frequency, phase, and current. And that thing should get pretty freaking hot. Let's see if it works. Plug it in the 240. We're live. Turning on the control circuit. We have the voltage. It's stable. It's not exploding yet. It's off right now. No signals yet. Dare I press the button? It's running. We've got uh, 30 amps peak. You're kind of whining. It's at that kind of frequency. It's getting hot. We got pretty close to 320 volts. That's good. Uh, let's see how hot we can get this. It's in current limit right now. Phase is at max. It's got phase lock. That's a uh, 30 amp, uh, 60 amp speak. It's getting way hotter than I ever made it before. Sweet.